Hi everyone, my name is Ashish. I'm a junior doctor working in the UK. In today's video, we will talk about cardiology. I will discuss the pathway of cardiology training in the UK. We will talk about the competition ratios, the steps to get in, and the salaries as a cardiologist in the UK. So let's start. As a cardiologist in the UK, you have lots and lots of opportunities. The first one is that you can specialize into a particular heart condition. That can include interventional cardiology, congenital heart disease, cardiac imaging, electrophysiology, including ablations, electrical device therapy, and heart failure, including cardiac transplantation and support devices. The next one is that you can go into academic cardiology. You can also specialize in newer areas that includes inherited cardiac conditions, cardiac oncology, and interventional valve therapy. Apart from these, you can teach medical students or PG students in training, and you can get involved in research at universities or in the NHS or in the private sector. Apart from these, you can always open up your own private practice and start practicing as a private cardiologist in the UK as well, if you don't want to work in the NHS or if you want to work part-time as a private cardiologist. Let's talk about the pathway of cardiology training in the UK. So you'll have to go for two years of foundation training after your medical college. If you are an IMG and you have already completed one year of internship, then you can get a crest form signed for foundation competencies, or you can apply for FY2 lat year and get your foundation competencies that way. After that, you'll have to go for core training and you'll have to clear some interviews to get into core training. This core training can either be internal medicine training, that is for three years, or it can be ACCS internal medicine, that is for four years. Once you have done your core training, you'll have to pass your MRCP examination as well, and then you'll have to apply for specialty training in cardiology, that is for five years, and you'll have to go for some interviews, and you'll have to make a portfolio in order to get in, and once you do all the workplace-based assessments during your five years of specialty training, you will get CCT and you will become a consultant cardiologist in the UK. This is the diagram for the whole pathway. So you can see that there are two years of foundation training. After that, you have interviews and then you have internal medicine training or ACCS internal medicine. That is the core training part of whole of the cardiology training. After that, you'll have to clear your MRCP and again, go for interviews for cardiology training. And then once you clear those interviews, you'll have to train for five years and then you get CCT and you become a cardiologist in the UK. Talking about the competition ratios, cardiology is a very competitive specialty. And you can see that the competition ratios have increased quite a lot in the past five years. In 2017, the competition ratio was 2.65. There were 361 applicants and there were 136 posts and you can see that this has increased to 4.13 in 2021 there were 401 applicants and there were just 97 posts for cardiology in the whole country let's talk about your earnings before taxes when you are in the process of training to become a cardiologist so during your foundation years, your salary will be around 28,808 to 33,345 pounds per year before taxes. Once you join core and specialty training, your salaries will start from 39,467 pounds per year and they will increase. And as a NHS consultant, you will be earning 84,559 to 114,000 pounds per year before taxes. This is just the salary that is earned by a doctor who is working in the NHS. Lots of people do private practice as well and you can charge hundreds of pounds per consultation if you are working as a private cardiologist. You can also do lots of locums and earn more money than that. You can also get involved in training or teaching or research and you can earn extra income on top of this. So this is just the base income that a consultant who's working in the NHS will earn. So that is all for this video. I hope that you got an idea about cardiology training. 
if you are someone who's new to this channel please consider subscribing to the channel like this video share this video and i will see you soon in another video thanks a lot for watching